Mark and Charity Coffee Podcast for a Wednesday, July the 5th. And I'm not sure which number podcast this is. It's like 400 some odd, I think. 300 some odd. For, anyway, it's Give the first second. one that is legitimately a shit show. 410, so this would Four, be 411. 4 took 411. Oh, I think we've had shit shows before. But this morning was just a train wreck <laughs> of... I think you only say that because of my flub up with Huey Lewis. No, and I was so no, excited. Was I was, was today years old when I found out Huey Lewis was an entire heart. I have believed <laughs> this for years and not because of just me watching the movie and being like, I think that's Huey Lewis. Because if I had done that, I would have been like, I'm going to look that up and make sure it's Huey Lewis. Okay, yeah. Someone told me it was Huey Lewis, not just someone several people i remember i remember through the years people commenting on huey lewis being in die hard so i just took it for fact and that's like assuming that's when i become the ass so no when we googled it was huey lewis's birthday today he's 73 73 huey lewis so that's what started all this because part of my queue up was and from my favorite holiday movie die hard he because i was so sure and i and i know Mm -hmm. I got it's Huey, not Lewis Huey Lewis from the song titles you gave me, not from the fact that you believed he was in, in Die, Die Hard. Because I didn't believe he was in Die Hard. I know, and you're like, is not. he? I said yes, and I even showed you the clip, and I'm like, is that not Huey Lewis? And you said yes, but then we Googled it, and that is not Huey Lewis. That is actually oh, okay. Dennis Hayden, who has a striking resemblance to Huey Lewis. But has no hits, has no top ten no hits. No song. Dennis. Both From here, the angle on yeah. your screen without my greedy re- reading glasses, that yeah. guy looks like <laughs> Huey oh, Lewis. Oh, whatever. I had the screen <laughs> turned towards you. And I said, does that not... Li-? I showed you the well, scene. sure. It's okay that he it looks, looks like, like it. He even sounds like Huey Lewis, though. Mm. I've seen Huey Lewis in interviews. It sounds like Huey Lewis. He didn't sing, no, because it's a movie. And you don't sing in Die Hard, especially. It's not a musical. Although that would be interesting to see. Welcome to the party, pal. Exactly. So, now, anyway, so there was that big flub, tonight. that big shit show of a moment. Um, so, <laughs> to be clear, Huey Lewis is not in Die Hard, and Thank I you. feel almost sick now because he's not in Die Hard. <laughs> it really bothered me. Because now you're going to watch it, and every time the guy shows it's gonna up, be like, it's going to be like, that's not Huey Lewis. Fuck. Who's this a-hole? <laughs> oh, my God, you're Sorry. dropping bombs. Sorry. <laughs> All over the podcast. You might have to put an advisory on this one. <laughs> but, yeah, it's like, for, for Really? All yeah. this time. And oh. I want to say, like, at least 20 years. It's been happening. It's been Huey nope. Lewis is in this. And I thought right. it was the coolest thing. And, and yeah. It's Mark Cohn's birthday it's today. Mark Cohn's birthday, yeah, yeah. Memphis. And Edie Falco. And, and yes. yeah. <laughs> it's a big day for birthdays. Yeah, but. we were like, I thought Mark Cohn would get more of it. And then that happened. I know. So that, that went on. So today. it went off the rails at that point. More than it had, <laughs> I guess. Pretty, pretty I don't early. think. Did it go off the rails earlier than I that? I don't know. We had a few other things in there. I can't even remember we? what they're just because it's so yeah. hot. It was okay. Like, let's blame that. Let's blame the heat. A lot of the, the hot was going on. What else? And we talked about the hot dog eating contest. Yeah, and Joey um, Chestnut did do well again yesterday. Not as well as last year, Mark. 62. I'm afraid. I don't mm-hmm. want to jinx it, but mm-hmm. me, eh, he might have peaked. He might. He, he might, might have. Be. He's a couple of years away from the senior tour. I think the senior <laughs> eating tour. That's what. Oh that's what's going to have to happen. We're going to have to bump them up a notch oh. just to help the youngins get their name. The old timers. He has won sixteen of the last seventeen. Mm-hmm. The man's the goat. Like and he set a world record. What? Two years ago with seventy. Seventy three. Seventy six. I want to say seventy six. Okay, seventy six may happen. But I, who knows? I don't know. Yeah. Don't go by what I say because I'm out to lunch. Joey Chestnut was not <laughs> in Die Hard. <laughs> See, that's going to be the joke. It's either going to be he wasn't in Die Hard joke or Huey Lewis wasn't in, in movies. Yeah, exactly. Like, that he's oh, really not. I can't believe Huey Lewis died in Titanic. Was he in that movie? <laughs> <laughs> All the movies now yeah, Huey didn't Lewis see him? was in. Huey Lewis was in that movie. <laughs> Along with Harrison Ford in Indiana Jones. Was he not in, in Indiana Destiny. Jones? I thought for sure. Oh, yeah. No, he was. Anyway. Yeah. So yes, Joey Chestnut won. Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> After the Huey Lewis, it kind of just went for me. Then we found out bright and early before the show that our good buddy Bob Doyle of McDonald's yeah. fame, he owns five of them, is hanging it He's up. He's retiring. Yeah. That's, that's kind of a big deal. Yeah, that so is a big deal. Because not only, as you pointed out when we, and we'll, we'll play the chat here, but it's not just the restaurants that have made him a pillar of this community. Yeah. He's been involved in so many other things and given mm-hmm. back to this community in so many other ways. It's it's pretty pretty amazing. Could you go to any other city and ask people in the city who owns your local McDonald's? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody would know. Yeah. A lot of people know Bob Doyle owns the McDonald's exactly. here. Exactly. Because of everything else he does. So we had to give him a call. Are Please. you are you at the store this morning? Or are you still at no, home? No, no. I actually would have been, but uh, when I got Mark's note, I just decided to stay at home until uh, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, we... That's just best. <laughs> Is it, uh, I mean, we all have our time to hang it up and enjoy the rest of our lives with all that we put together. Was it a tough decision? Uh, no, not really. Uh, you know, I've been looking forward to telling the stores, but it takes uh, a while, so a couple of years. So not a tough decision. Now, take us back, Bob. How how long have you had the stores? When did this all start for you? So I actually had stores in Cal- a store in Caledonia uh, for five years, and then we moved here in uh, 2000. And uh, we bought two stores here, and we have five stores now. So been in Belleville since 2000, and now it's, what, 2023, and we're here for life. Yes. Love it. So if, if that were all your resume showed, it would be impressive nonetheless. But it's what you've done when you're not at work that we're all going to be very grateful for. Why did Bob Doyle decide that he needed to get involved with the hospital and the Children's Foundation and get his roots deeper into the community, not just in the business world? Well... I think that McDonald's, for sure, initially wants owner operators that are in the marketplace uh, and taking care of stuff like this. But my dad was uh, like that, so I learned that from him. He was uh, into charity, uh, St. Vincent de Paul, and that kind of stuff. So it's it's sort of second nature. I actually enjoy it, believe it or not. I enjoy the Hospital Foundation. I enjoyed uh, Quinny Children's Foundation. I really enjoyed you know, being on the board of directors for the, uh, for the not for the city, but the Chamber of Commerce. So it's not that it's a uh, it's a big you know like uh, an anchor on my leg. I quite enjoy it. So it it goes to it. Well, and it certainly shows, Bob. Through the years, some highlights that you can share with us through your experiences with McDonald's? Well, I think on the McDonald's side, 2013, winning the uh, uh, Ronald Award for the, the most influential owner-operator in the chain was pretty good. I would say uh, the award was, uh, was, uh, was a surprise, and it was really good. And then Lifetime Achievement Award was good. So, you know, but, uh, but I mean, you have to feel... Uh, you have to feel that you are doing the job to be able to get them. But uh, And I'm very fortunate that I have these opportunities. Well, from a grateful community, thank mm-hmm. you for all you've done. A small celebration, I think, no matter how large it is, it will still seem small compared to the contributions you've made going on on uh, Friday. Is everybody invited to the store? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, Friday morning they're having an open house, so come on in if you want a coffee and whatever. But you know what? I mean, you take a look at yourself, Mark. I mean, you're so into this kind of stuff. And I was on the board of directors of the hospital with you. and Nobody knows that kind of stuff. But we don't do that kind of stuff to get praise. We do it because we want to do it. True. When we wish you all the best, then, and we'll see you on Friday. Perfect. Thank you very much. And it's wonderful how he has been honored and recognized through the years. But I was kind of hoping he would talk more about, like, McHappy Day. Mm-hmm. Because for, I don't know about you, but for me, when when I heard the news he was retiring, immediately memories of McHappy Day came to mind. Because that's, that's more my connection to him. Yes, right. going to the restaurants for years, and I take my kids, and all those experiences. But those days where it gets a little silly, it gets a little fun, and you have more of that connection directly with the community, I think is so great. You said uh, before we the interview... If you go to a, a local McDonald's and ask who the owner is, very few people would probably be able to tell you. It's days like McHappy Day that people really were able to connect with Bob himself, mm-hmm. as well as the staff at McDonald's. Although when I'm there, he stays in the office. He doesn't <laughs> want to know. He doesn't I don't want to know what you guys are doing. It's better I don't know right. what's going on. You know, Bob's yeah. like, how come you guys get to come and have to work in my place? When am I getting a show on your radio session? You're right, Bob. You're not. You're not. <laughs> That's a very bad idea. And yet he let us back every year. Every year he lets us back. (laughs)
<laughs> they've really, they've they've shrunk all those drive-through windows because they know I'm so going Mark out. So Mark can't fit in them. Yes. And slide into people's cars. Yeah. What but a it's great been, guy. Yeah, it's been really incredible what he's done here in the city with not only with his stores but as as an individual. He owns North Front. He owns Dundas Bayview. Bayview. Yep. He owns Walmart. He owns Maydoc. Mm-hmm. And uh, he will own the uh, new one when it opens on Walbers Loyalist. But okay. he will be retiring. So he still, quote unquote, owns it. Well, who knows when the sale will go through. Yes, but. because that's what's happening. He's selling them. So we yeah. don't, and we don't know who. And as he mentioned, it takes two years. Like McDonald's yeah. just doesn't say, okay, we got somebody in the wings. You, you know, like a, like Tim Hortons and like a lot of the big franchises. If Yeah, the money's the big thing if you got the money. And then after that. Background check. Well, and as he mentioned, you know, we want people who do things. Yes. That's the thing about McDonald's. And that's why I'm so curious about who's at the time in? of this podcast, we don't know mm-hmm. who's who's stepping in. Are you and Wayne buying McDonald's and no, you're not gosh, telling me? No. no. That'd be cool. Ben would lose <laughs> his shit. <laughs> Both boys would. They would be like, oh my God. Um, but I do hope it's local. I hope it's someone yeah. like Bob. Big shoes. Who, who has. An investment here, not just with the business, mm-hmm. but is invested in the community and and wants to make this its their home if it isn't already. Yeah, and really give back and be a part of the community like Bob has. Big time. So I hope so. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. And then of course it is also Waterfront Weekend. Oh my gosh! We are beginning our Waterfront fast, which is we don't eat until tomorrow night at four <laughs> or six or whenever they'll start feeding. And us. then eat all weekend. You can just travel Westwick's Park and go around the world from booth to booth. <laughs> In a matter of hours and or days, depending on how eat. you want to take. Oh, my gosh. So much great food. Tiffany, working oh with the Chamber gosh. of Commerce, says let's get down to Westwick's Park this weekend. Hi, guys. How are you? We're good. Good. How are you? Tiffany's here, everybody. <laughs> here comes Waterfront Weekend. Yeah. Kicks off Thursday. Give us the rundown. What's coming to Belleville? So what's coming to Belleville for Thursday? We have amazing multicultural music throughout the park all weekend long. Uh, Nima's Children's Choir is coming. We have our Parade of Nations with our opening ceremony first thing. We have Granville Pinto, if you've ever seen him. He was at the front of the park last year. And we have a Swedish band called Brander. Like, you, you just can't miss any of this stuff. We, of course, have our canine water sports coming back and our dog lovers days lure run. We have a cute little pig coming named Dozer. <laughs> we always have our face painting and the balloon art. Either way, it's going to be amazing. Jogwa Peace Festival is joining us this year. They're a BIPOC community that are um, promoting you know, the inclusion and multicultural feel to everything that's coming, so it's going to be great. Where can people get the full schedule? Full the- schedule is available at discoverbelleville.ca or you can go to the waterfront, uh, com. Okay. And do you want to ask Mark or do you want me to ask? No, you go ahead, Dan. Okay. Dan ask. How- the most important yeah. question we need to know. How much is this going to cost us, Tiffany? Free, free, free. Yay! Yay! And again, Absolutely. it's going to be $5 parking if you bring a vehicle, but you can take those free shuttles right from the terminal. That's amazing. Of course, there's different stuff to do each and every day yes. of it, but it kicks off on Thursday and runs right through Sunday down at Westwick's Park. Tiffany, thank you so much. Our job is just to make sure the weather's good, and it looks so good so far. It's better. <laughs> Amazing (laughs) multicultural countries coming for food. Oh, yes. In our multicultural food village sponsored by Red Path. It's going to be great. And OLG sponsors our main stage, and it's going to be just absolutely phenomenal. I'm I'm not eating as of today, Tiffany, to prepare myself to enjoy everything over the weekend. Exactly. (laughs) That's a good way to put it. Waterfront Fast has started. Because by Thursday, no excuses. (laughs) <laughs> Don't eat it home. Every country, it's going to be great. Exactly. It's be good. Exactly. Make your way around the world at Westwick's Park. Tiffany, thanks for all you're doing. Thank you guys so much. You have an awesome day. Weekend number two of their three weeks of summer. Napkins are optional. I'm just going to keep eating. I know. Waterfront this weekend. Licking my fingers. 45 years. That's been going on. Waterfront. And for a number of years, one of the top 100 festivals in Ontario every yes. year. Every yes. year. It was the place to be. Now, she did explain to us, if you're asking yourself, okay, Waterfront usually has the midway as part of that weekend. Yep. With the way Canada Day falls and with, um, I'm sorry, I always forget their name. The midway. World's Finest. World's Finest. With yep. their scheduling, it just offset the week. Mm-hmm. So it couldn't be here at the same weekend as Waterfront. So that's why Midway's next weekend. So you can go and eat this weekend and then work it all off 
and enjoy the Midway next weekend. Next week, it's a three weekends in a row. With Discover Belleville.ca yeah. and Canada Day and oh the city gosh. and Chamber of Commerce working hard. Tiffany's got a lot of put. To, she'll put her feet up, and then next week she can start working on the Santa Claus parade. I mean, it's just like well, nonstop. You say it's funny. You say that because I I don't doubt it. Yeah, like sh- like it it's starts moving. It <laughs> there's Gets always going. something. Which again, we say it time and again is so wonderful about this area. There's so always something. Once again, it's absolutely free to get in. Five bucks if you want to park, but take the shuttle Shuttle's to get down free. there with the whole family. Get yeah. down there, bring uh, some cash along for the food, enjoy mm-hmm. the entertainment for the multicultural side of the Waterfront Festival, and then uh, save a more uh, of your loonies for next weekend and get your passes to get on the rides for And I believe the bracelets are still available through the log cabin. Okay, so you can buy those ahead of so time, right? So you can right. get, yes, your wa- your ride bracelets ahead of time. So you're ready. For you just next show weekend, up, right? And boom, next weekend. Yes. And yeah, that's the thing. The kids will be so bored by next weekend. Oh, they're bored summer. now. Are they really? Oh my God. It, it's only July uh, the 5th. <laughs> They've only been out a week. They're driving me crazy already. Okay, only nine weeks left. Good. Good yeah, to hear. Yeah. Oh yeah. In such a rush to be off and yeah. then it's like day five. <laughs> what do we do? Find a way to stay cool, everybody. Cooling stations are open. It's going to be hot. Big on the show tomorrow. Tracy Legault Davis is going to unveil the secret of who Cherry and I are playing with. No, she isn't. But no, she will unveil the fact not. that there is a secret. <laughs> and I'm, good I'm glad with that. we just have someone to call for. <laughs> That's good. We I do think have Charity's someone. a little nervous about uh, it. Maybe. I think you'd like I'm to go- know. I'm nervous to golf with you. Yeah. Because I think, again, Expectations need to be low, Mark. Okay. I'm not just saying this. What? Because you think I'm going to be disappointed in yes, your play? Yes, yes. Okay. I think you will be disappointed and frustrated, a, so you need to dial better. it back. I think you're a lot better no, than I'm you No, I'm not. Do no, you, I am not. So I am you, not downplaying. Two shots. Do you crank it out like two, 250 yards? No, I don't. So you need to settle down and relax here Why? and really rethink this, maybe. Why are we playing together on Friday? <laughs> like I hit a 250. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm lucky if I get it. Like, yeah. Anyway. You have no idea. Okay. <laughs> so just go in with realistic expectations. The podcast today sounded a lot like the show, minus the bombs. <laughs> so decide whether you'd like to join us again tomorrow. Tomorrow will be But if be you do, with our Throwback Thursday, we'll have our favorite golf songs. Team Mark is from Caddyshack's Kenny Loggins' I'm All Right. And Team Charity, I have Leonard Skinner's Tuesday's Gone from Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore. Vote yeah. on our Facebook page. Winning song coming up tomorrow after the 8 o'clock That's news. a good way. You watch Happy Gilmore. That is how I golf at the beginning of the movie. You don't. Do you hit the ball that far? Oh, at the beginning at of the, the movie. At the beginning of the movie. Not later I can't, on. I can't hit it the way he hits the drives, but his golf game some overall, point, yep, that's me. Right. At some point, are you going to punch me out like Bob Barker? Is that what's going to happen? Depends on if you get mouthy like Adam Sandler. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> She's mighty like a firecracker. Mark and Charity Coffee Podcast. Enjoy a hot day today. We'll talk to you tomorrow morning.